There are only so many times a manufacturer can make a great device that fits in various sections of the market. Kamashi provided me with one such device. The Arma K1 is a waterproof speaker, comes with a bicycle stand, has a full-size flashlight, also works as a battery pack. It's a win-win situation, right? Let's check out how it walks through all the paths that it has chosen to walk. The device has a 4.8 ampere hour battery. This is a huge battery for a Bluetooth speaker and Kamashi claims more than 30 hours of music playback with that battery. I wouldn't doubt it. I have not been able to verify that claim, but I've tried to use this battery as a power bank to juice up my other devices. The 4.8 ampere hour battery supports Quick Charge 2.0 with an output of 2.1 ampere. In my personal test, it went beyond 2.1 ampere rating. It charged my OnePlus One in just 2 hours, which is, same, which is equivalent to the time it takes to charge via an AC input. Speaking of just 2 hours, I could only play 1 hour of music after it was done charging my OnePlus One. This might be because that this device keeps searching for a Bluetooth connection even when it's charging or it is being used as a power bank. The speaker on this thing is no Bose or Harman Kardon, but you don't expect that at this price, right? Don't get me wrong, it brings a huge improvement over the device's own speakers. Let's check out the sound quality and the loudness on some devices versus the speakers on Arma K1. The bass response is definitely more punchy and the highs are less grainy and there is no doubt that this thing is way louder than any speakers on your device. Overall it's worth every penny. Add to this performance water and dust resistance as it comes with IP66 certification. It can handle limited abuse and undoubtedly be your companion to the shower. But like every other device it's now perfect. The back panel is covered with a rubber flap. The flap once open there is almost no bass response and the music sounds muffled. The flap needs to be opened in order to charge the device using the micro USB port on the back to use it as a battery pack and to turn the device on or off. Overall this is not a bad speaker in any way. It is a great flashlight if you really care about that stuff. But that is because this device is a speaker first and a battery pack feature just comes along with it. I wouldn't use it as a battery pack if I had a different one available.